Hideous, deformed, twisted in mind and body, the hunchback of Notre Dame. A Paris film production, released by Allied Artists. See the court of miracles of King of Fools of Madness Paris and Cosimodo the Hunchback, played by Anthony Quinn, with Gina Lodabitra as a lover of the gypsy girl, Esmeralda. In 15th century Paris, it is a, it is the Feast of Fools. Boisterous students interrupt the performance of Pierre Gorolli's Richard Hurst play, A Quest for Beauty. Having ruined the performance, they rushed out to join the festivities in the cathedral square, where is the Marianda Lodrigera is dancing for the throne. Claude Frogo, Alain Colony, an alchemist and archdeacon Notre Dame, angrily tries to clear the noisy mob from the square, claiming the world is these serious merrymakers disturb his work. The crowd jeers as fo- at folios. His servant Cosimodo, Andy Quinn, the hunchback, Billwinger, the c- cathedral, comes to his master's rescue, disrupts the mob. The populace perceives its selection of the King of Fools, title wounded to the ugliest man in Paris, as a man of spiding the male formed Cosimodo. In the crowd, laughing, hails him as the King Fools. King. Later, Frodo comes on the, upon the celebrants, the crowned and garland hunchback, carried high on his throne, the head. Folio, fo, fo, furious with people for ridiculing his servant hiddenness, orders him to return to the cathedral. Walking back to Notre Dame, Folio and Quisimodo see Els around him, occupied by a pet goat, Darali. Frodo, drawn by the gypsy's lush beauty, orders his servant to adopt her. Cosimodo is unwilling, but finally heaves a struggling gypsy to his shoulder and makes off of her. But a squadron of soldiers, headed by Captain Phoebus, Jean Danet, rescues the girl. Phoebus, also in charge of the girl, offers his protection, lures her to a disreputable inn where his soldiers incinerate, incarcerate Cosimodo. The gypsy is fascinated by the dashing soldier. But realizing his intentions runs away. Dispressed by his play's failure, Granoli wanders the dark streets accidentally. He stumbles into a vast walled square. This is the Court of Miracles, a den inhabited by beggars and feasts. The city ruled the area was their own domain. The Pope discovered his sees and condemned to death as interloper. But Elza Mounder, pitting the poet, evokes a law court and marries Gonorora, thus saving him from the gallows. Their marriage, however, she informs Gonorora, will be platonic. Next day, Cosimodo is fettered and led to the square to be punished. The king fixed thoroughly, viciously, he rides the king back, hunchback as the king's executioner. That is the monstrous wretch. Quasimodo pleads for water, but none will give him a drink until Quasimodo, moved to pity, mounts the pedestal with a picture for him. Late in the day, Esmeralda again encounters Phoebus, unaware the captain's approaching wedding to the aristocratic Fiudula Lilis, General Dumont. Ezra agrees to meet him that night and at the inn. In the evening, as Frodo wanders the streets, tormented by visions of Esmeralda's Est- beauty. Fleeing the inn, he peers through the window and sees the gypsy girl in Phoebus arms. Mad with jealousy, the archivist climbs to the window and stabs Phoebus in the back. Esmeralda is arrested for attempted murder as Phoebus is unconscious and able to exonerate her. Unknown to torture, the girl is forced to confess a crime and sentenced to death for murder and witchcraft. The next day, Esmeralda is led before Notre Dame to do a penance. Cosimodo suddenly appears from the upper gallery, pulls the girl in the church, claiming the ancient law of sanctuary. 
Hunt back Zam explains this because as the murderer it is safe. The cathedral under the guarantees of law and that no one can menace her in her confines. At first, the gypsy is frightened by a grotesque bell ringer, but she realises he loves her and is happy just serving her. Meanwhile, time, Fervius is recovered, but refuses to see the gypsy or intercede on her behalf. Louis XI decides to revoke the rights of century in Notre Dame in order to get heirs of Mariner. Carrying the plan, the beggars and thieves rush from the court of miracles to storm Notre Dame to rescue her. Cosimodo, thinking his besiegers of king's men, violently fights them off, hurling rocks and molten lead from the upper galleries of the cathedral. The king's soldiers' troops arrive and see and destroy the army beggars. Battle as around her is killed. As Chopin, one of his friends from the Court of Miracles, Cosimona, bewildered at by events, realizes that last that Frodo is responsible for Eldemarda's death. The Alchemist meets the hunchback in the upper gallery. The Bale Winger wreaks his vengeance by throwing Frodo to his death in the square below. Zomodo then follows Edmund's body to the burial vaults. Mount Fulton, where the soldiers have gone, steals into the crypt room and folds the girl in his arms. Years later, the crypt is opened. The skeletons are discovered, locked in close embrace. The end.